Hi, this is Jamie from DigitalArtsFront.com. Um, I was just playing around with some brushes today. Someone was talking to me on YouTube about the smudge tools and stuff, and um, I thought I'd just play around with some stuff, and I kind of figured this out. Um, essentially what this is, is if you've ever used Painter, um, you might have used the Just Add Water tool. It's quite popular for blending. And um, yeah, that kind of a tool doesn't really exist in Photoshop. Well, I thought it didn't really exist in Photoshop until today. So I'm going to show you how to make the Just Add Water tool in Photoshop. Now, some of you may already know this, and I might be behind the times, but I'm just going to show that this for people who don't know, like me. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some colors down real quick. And I'm going to pull out the smudge tool. Now, normally the smudge tool doesn't have any of this turned on. And so what it normally does is just sort of move the paint around. It's not really a very useful tool. I don't use it and I don't know many other people that do either for painting or photo editing or anything. It's just kind of nasty. I mean it doesn't really serve much purpose. So what you need to do is you need to open up the brush palette here and turn on scattering. And we'll just hide that and now you'll see that it blends our colors. And for anyone who's used Painter and didn't know about this, right now you should be pretty happy because, um, yeah, <laughs> that's a really useful tool. Now, I mean, normally what you're going to want to do is you, you're going to want to pick up your colors and blend them like you normally would do. But if you just want to smooth out something, you know, or make something really soft or you're trying to get some really, really smooth gradients happening, then it really can be quite a useful tool. Or if you're just blocking in some values and you're just scribbling them in and you just want to, you know, fuzz them out a bit, um, again, a really good tool. So another thing you can do is you can turn on other dynamics, which will um, set this strength jitter to pen pressure, which is really good, and um, shape dynamics. And I usually, for this, I've sort of figured out about halfway is good because you don't really need too much fine detail. So now if I go back and do it with the pen pressure on, you, it's not as strong an effect. You know, you can really sort of put it down how you want and blend smoothly. And yeah, it. I don't know, it seems to work pretty well, so I'm pretty happy about this, and I thought I'd just share it with you guys. Um, so, yeah, um, check out digitalartsfront.com, and um, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.